right, my dudes? Now, you may have seen my most recent video, which is Grunty Chatter Cosplay Horror, in which I turned myself into Gruntilda Winky Bunyan, the witch from Banjo Kazooie. If you haven't seen the original Grunty Chatter video, there will be a link to it in the cards above and also in the video description. It was a really fun process and throughout making the costume and getting pieces in, I decided to film a lot of it. If you're interested in seeing how I became Gruntilda, then just keep on watching. I read my dudes. Uh, I've just been rudely interrupted from my incredibly delicious beige meal. I've recently gone dairy free so this is about as exciting as it gets. But uh, yeah, I've been interrupted by the postman with a very exciting package. So I have a wig that arrived yesterday so something else has arrived for this costume but this is the first big exciting bit for one of my Halloween costumes that I'm gonna hopefully have done in time. So I'm gonna open it up, see what it's like. I've got a couple of friends who know that I've got a black hob wig and that I'm getting prosthetics and face paint and they've been making some wild guesses but no one's got it yet so Ooh. got a tin here, open that up in a second uh, I've got some tooth black so I'm gonna be blacking out some of my teeth and ooh, a little bat of the box, let's uh, get rid of that um, I'll open the box first. I mean, it's practically opened itself. <laughs> I spent a long time looking for something that would be suitable for this. Oh my god. <laughs> Where's my mirror? Hang on. Let's live the fantasy. So I've got a chin. <laughs> and I've got a nose. I've never worked with prosthetics before and like the sticky texture is something else. So that's my chin. Let's see how... <laughs> okay. Just gonna adjust my chin, make sure I'm beautiful. It looks pretty legit and I mean I know I'm already missing teeth but I'm gonna black out some of the other ones so that's interesting. <laughs> so that's my chin and my nose. Very exciting. I've used body paint before but not very extensively so I did a zombie version of stocking from Pantheon Stocking years ago and we got I think it was like Grimace for that uh, but this time I've gone with Crylon so we'll see it's a bit rattly in there but hope it isn't broken. I mean can you break paint? <laughs> oh uh, apparently you can. <laughs> You can break paint because one of them shown are broken but that's okay that's the color that I was like least bothered on so and the rest of it's still in the tub I'm sure I can salvage something like that and like repress it. I'm gonna arrange this and I'll show you what it's looking like. So I've rearranged the colors in here and it does look quite nice there is gold everywhere I'm gonna wipe that down but just to show you while I'm still filming. Uh, yeah, I went for this one and the website I got this from was UK MUA. This is actually on sale so I got this for like half the price it's meant to be so if it's a little bit bashed up I don't really care. The main colour I'm interested in is the green, also some of the yellow, maybe some of the brown and of course the black and white for like shading and stuff but yeah, I uh... <laughs> I'm very excited to get started with this bad boy. As I said before, I got some tooth black. So this is just to black out your teeth and make you look a little bit more uh, witchy, shall we say. And yeah, aside from <laughs> the prosthetics that I just chilling in the box, I did get a wig yesterday. So it doesn't look too terrible. This was my first foray into ordering a wig from Amazon and it was on sale and I fully expected it to show up and be like lime green, you know, like the horror stories you read. But no, it looks pretty legit. Uh, I went for one that's a little bit wavy, which doesn't suit the character, but I wanted to be able to use it afterwards. And this is a bit more like, if I'm gonna wear a daily wig, this is a bit more my style. So yeah, for like 14 pound, I'm not complaining, but yeah, I've got my wig, I've got my face paint, I've got my tooth black, I've got my new nose job and chin job in a box. So we'll see uh, how this goes. I read my dudes. Uh, so it's the next day and I've got another exciting delivery. So this is a scarf that I've ordered for my costume and again it's not accurate but I mean a few years ago I would have just cut strips of fabric and then sewn a striped scarf together but 2021 Heather isn't quite so uh, determined to do that. <laughs> 
so I ended up getting this scarf and again it's not totally accurate but it is a striped purple scarf and it has like a gradient to it this looks quite nice get all my hair out of there but yeah that's you know what that's that's gonna be legit this is gonna be totally fine <laughs> it's actually a lot nicer than I thought this is like 4 99 from eBay not gonna knock it Arit. So I've been doing some tidying, not that you can really tell, it's currently a tip in here. I'm working on my Halloween Estelle costume, which I've got some bits over here. But I'm finally working on it, but when I was tidying, I found something else that is for my uh, current costume. So I have this. <laughs> and this poor little Frenchie has no idea what's going to happen to him. But uh, this is just one of those like storage books that you can get. I normally get these from like Hobbycraft, but I found this in TK Maxx and it was only £4. So it's got like a little magnetic closure and then you can just store stuff in it. I've customised a couple of these before and like decoupaged them up but this time I'm probably just gonna paint this and then cut out some designs with my Cricut so we'll see how that goes but uh this is for a certain little <laughs> companion piece for my costume <laughs> So I've got some things to show you. It is now the day before Halloween and I'm rushing to get stuff done but I figured I would just give a little update. So here is my book for Cheeto. <laughs> this is all just done with vinyl. Uh, this is all just cut with the Cricut. The eyes are made out of foam and they've also got vinyl on them and it still works as a book. I mean it's not a book. You know it's not a real book. It still works. I can open it and close it is what I mean. <laughs> I'm, I'm very tired uh but yeah he's looking all right he's a bit lumpy in person i'm hoping he's gonna look better on camera than he does in real life but he will certainly look the part for my lovely spell book and i've also got a little couple of friends to show you <laughs> This is Banjo and Kazooie, obviously. I've also got Mumbo Jumbo, but I'm just gonna incorporate these for the video so far. In case it's not obvious, I mean, the video should be out before this one is, but I'm making Gruntilda Winky Bunyan from Banjo Kazooie. So I've got a couple of little companions and also, of course, my lovely spell book, Cheeto. So uh, yeah, um, I've still gotta make the hat and I've still gotta make the dress, you know, the whole costume. Love that for me. But it shouldn't be too bad because I think even if it's a little rough around the edges, like kind of like it matches grunty anyway. So we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping I'm gonna have enough time. So uh yeah, watch this space. I read my dudes. So I've laid out the hat and the pointy hat crown, I believe it's called, for Gruntilda. Uh, this is from this pattern here. So just for reference. I recently made this hat for Estelle, which will be in a separate video, but I made a lot of mistakes when I did it for Estelle. So this time I'm doing things slightly different. So I've got the nice big pointy bit here. It's got a couple of layers of interfacing on it, which means that it should stand up nice and pointy. And if it doesn't, I can always put some foam in it or like stuff it or whatever. And this is the main brim of the hat. I will also need this out of black, but for now I'm just gonna show you the lining. So it's this nice shiny red. So yeah, I'm gonna cut these out and I'm gonna get to making my hat. So my hat, as you can see, is nigh on done. It needs a little bit more starching because it's rather uh, floppy at the moment, but I'm hoping the wig underneath and everything will be fine and like puff it out a little bit more. And I will starch it and that should, I mean, <laughs> right now it's a bit of a bonnet, but it, it'll look better, I promise. But yeah, um, it's as done as it's gonna get. I haven't lined the inside of it just cause no one's gonna see it besides you just now seeing a sneak peek of how filthy it is but uh that's a problem for future heather i'll line it eventually or i'll put some bias or something around it 
Alright, so I've been working on the dress and I've come to a bit of a... Uh, bit of a problem. I'm not sure how else to say it. Um, I have some black by stretch that I originally bought for stocking from Panty and Stocking and I was like, well, I've got this fabric, I can just replace it later. I'll make the dress with it. There's not enough of it. <laughs> so what I've decided to do, because in the reference artwork, which I'll put somewhere on the screen, um, the main top of the dress is actually like a little bit shiny. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So the bodice I'm doing with this like duchess satin fabric and then the sleeves because I don't have enough of the duchess satin to do the sleeves as well. The sleeves are going to be by stretch, the bodice and a peplum is going to be duchess satin and then the skirt, the main big black skirt is also going to be by stretch. So it's going to be a little bit of a mix between the two. But I don't think anyone is going to notice. I don't think anyone is going to care. And to be honest, I think the difference in texture will actually look quite nice. So I'm just going to roll with it if it means that I can actually get it done on time. And you never know, it might look quite nice. Alright, so I've been working on this bit of the skirt. I didn't film this because I 100% winged it. So <laughs> there's no pattern for it, not that you'd want one. But uh, yeah, I've made it kind of like a handkerchief style skirt. So it's like a really uneven edge. This is basically all that I could do with the fabric that I had. So I'm going to sew this into the waistband with the main black skirt that is in a pile. And I don't think I'm even going to hem the bottom of this properly because she's meant to be a witch and her outfit's meant to be all torn up anyway. I'll hem the rest of it nicely, like the sleeves and stuff. That's meant to look nice. But yeah, I think once this is ironed and it's got everything else with it, it'll look pretty effective. I feel like this is far too nice for Gruntilda. <laughs> None of the bottom of it's been hemmed, which I explained previously. Uh, I've put some little notches in this layer of skirt and I'm probably going to add some more just to make it look a bit more raggy. But I'm pretty happy with the shape and the look of it. I've sewn the skirt into the waistband now and the bodice is sewn up aside from the zip, which needs to go down the back. So I'm going to add that once I've got the sleeves and stuff on just to sew the final piece. I think it looks nicer than I thought it would considering I've made this in about like four hours if that and I've been taking my time I've got Netflix on so <laughs> but yeah it's uh, it's getting there so I've been working on the sleeves for Grunty and the rest of it's all over here and look oh that's amazing I just happened to kick the pins everywhere thank you for delaying my progress So the dress is done, or as done as it's getting for now. Obviously I've got my lovely spell boogie cheeto here. I've got my scarf, got my hat, everything's looking all right. I just need to paint myself green and put my nose and my chin and everything on and hopefully live the fantasy. So we'll see how that goes. I've got, well, it's nearly midnight now. So <laughs> I basically got one shot to do this tomorrow. But my script's all ready, I've only got a couple of tweaks that I need to do with that and I know where I'm going to get some extra shots which is like two minutes away from where I live so if you see a weirdo out in green in this funky getup, please just don't interact. <laughs> it's gonna be embarrassing enough. But yeah, it's, uh, it's wearable, it looks semi-legit. I'm looking forward to decorating somewhere and getting my filming done tomorrow so yeah. I've been working on Halloween Estelle from Tales of Vesperia and I've been documenting the whole process of that and good god it's like the duality of Heather because this video I feel encompasses like actual cosplay chaos and like crunching whereas the Estelle video I was rushing to work on it but I was still like setting up shots and making it nice and it's nice and aesthetic whereas this is like I might as well be in a bin bag but <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. I'm sure I'll be adding some more tomorrow when I start painting myself green, so there's always that to look forward to. But for now, I'm gonna get myself in the bath and go to bed. I read my dudes. So it is now Halloween, and last night I inflicted torture on myself. I've put some false nails on. And normally with cosplay, I just use my own nails because they're a nice enough shape and length and whatever. But the last time I wore false nails was with Kefka in 2013, so a long time ago. And I remember they kind of hurt then. These 
are agony. These are, I don't know if I'm allergic to the glue or whatever, but they're on now and I just need to get through the filming. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be fine but trying to put tights on trying to pull up my underwear trying to unzip the zipper on the dress trying to do anything clearly i i just can't do it in false nails so this is gonna be fun i don't know how it's gonna go but uh we're gonna find out together because i'm gonna start putting on my prosthetics and then i'm gonna start doing my body paint as a cosplayer do you ever get up and you're like why am i doing this to myself because that is what i am feeling today like heavily what i'm feeling today because it's like yeah it's gonna be fun but i actually have to get into the costume first and i just i just don't want to do that i now have my uh mastix water soluble spirit gum which i'm hoping is going to be enough to be able to hold my uh beautiful chin in place i know you're recommended to use like prosade but i couldn't get any in time and screw going to magic box at this time like not so yeah i'm gonna pray that this works if not i've practically glued myself into these why not just glue the nose and the chin on and <sighs> I mean, at the very least, I, I hope this is worth it and I hope it's somewhat entertaining because like, I'll look back on this and I'll laugh, so maybe you will, maybe you'll just cry, maybe I'll cry, I will cry. This is so difficult with false nails. <laughs> I'm gonna say that about everything, but yeah, this is so difficult with false nails. Here's the inside of my nose. <laughs> Delightful. Oh, well, it is on and it looks okay. Just gonna try and press that down. I think that's okay. It seems somewhat secure. I can still breathe ish. <laughs> if the fumes are anything to go by. I really hope I can apply this and make it not look crap. I realise that this is like the riskiest way to do things where I've literally left it until the day of Halloween to film Halloween content, edit Halloween content, and then, you know, expect a good result. I don't know what I expected, but hopefully it'll be fine. Everything that I'm using is like water-based and water-soluble. So like all the body paint and stuff should just come off with water. So says the internet, so says the packaging. But I expect it'll be a bit of a battle later. Where I tried like a couple of little test pieces and where I was cleaning up the palette the other day, it did leave a little bit of staining on my fingers, but it was mostly the red pigment. So I don't know, we'll see. I might be green for the next few days. Well, I've got some kind of dimple, but I'm just gonna accept that as it is. It's almost a reversal of the wart, because the wart goes up and the dimple goes in. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the paint, and I'm telling you, these nails, if you want people to like stop offending, give them some false nails, make them make bias binding, and get them to put on pairs of tights, because I swear to God, I've never been in so much pain. So I'm gonna be using the green and the yellow mostly, because I'm not sure what kind of color it's gonna come out with. I've got a brush here that I used to use for my foundation. It's a really good brush for just spreading, so I'm hoping this will be all right, because I don't really wanna use a sponge. I'm not a fan of sponges. And this has a long handle, so my nails aren't gonna affect it, so. Thankfully, I don't need to paint too much of myself because it's basically just like my head and my neck and not, e not even my neck actually, and then my hands, so it shouldn't be too bad, she says optimistically. I think as long as my skin is green, even if it's not quite the right shade of green, it's still gonna look effective, so. It's green all right, isn't it? I don't want to get cancelled for not having painted ears. I'm gonna wait a minute while this dries just so I can, you know, put another layer on and maybe lighten it up a little bit and add some shading and make myself look proper grubby. Now that's a more grunty colour. <laughs> I'm gonna go in for round two because this is basically dry. I am having a few little issues where it's peeling though, which is most concerning. So 
now I'm gonna powder this. I'm gonna use just this translucent powder that I've got. It's like cheap and cheerful. So I'm having a little bit of a disaster because my eyes keep watering and my nose keeps moving and one of my fingernails is getting off. But I'm just gonna keep going and hope for the best. I'm gonna try and shade some of this with some black. But instead of using the paint, I'm gonna use an eyeshadow palette. Okay, that's looking all right. shouldn't laugh it's uh it's affecting my chin but uh i think this is most of the makeup done it looks like a hot mess there's some little bits under my eyes where it's came off because my eyes keep watering i just realized i still need to black out my teeth i'm a tad less warty than she is but i also have more teeth than she does so it's time to do something about that so she has two teeth <laughs> oh god i might need more than two but yeah let's uh <laughs> oh god uh. <laughs> so I've blacked out some of my teeth and it looks horrible but I guess that's kind of the point but it also feels horrible this stuff is disgusting <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get through but I'm gonna have to make do though I do want to put some eyeliner on because she does have eyelashes oh we can't be forgetting the eyelashes so I'm gonna sort that out do some eyeliner do some well I might not put lashes on but I'll definitely put some mascara on so So my eye makeup is done, done, <laughs> whatever, uh, but I found these that I've had for a few years and these are bat wing shaved false eyelashes so what better costume to use them on than Grimpy? I'll probably use them on Estelle when I eventually get Estelle done, uh, but yeah. Grimpy can have the test run, get some kawaii bat lashes on. They're nowhere near even, but I don't care. God, I look drunk. I'm hoping I can make this wig look less nice than it currently looks. Because <laughs> it does really suit Grunty that it's quite nice. Yet the fringe has got to go. So I'm going to try and put that elsewhere. I'm not sure if I should just try and fold it under or if I should just sweep it to the sides and then pin it because the hat should hopefully hide that oh geez what have i got myself into eh? hair grips i'm gonna try and well if my nails will allow sort this out i'll do get a bunch of them going am i cute yet You know what, that is totally gonna work. <laughs> For those who are Trixie, I have a treat for you. Come in, get closer, and get in the room! My hat is falling off. My hat! My hat! My hat! <laughs> I can have outtakes.
Scary. You're scared. You're scared! It's the teeth in it. I eat my dudes. Uh, we've just finished filming. <laughs> I've had an assistant this time, normally I don't. But uh, yeah, we finished filming. The chin unfortunately had to go because it was more bother than it was worth. I've done some little intros for Instagram and stuff and we are gonna go on a little adventure out to get some extra footage. Yeah, with my super kawaii camera. Hello Kitty camera. <laughs> I'm gonna film some extra stuff and I will hopefully get the video edited for tonight. I need to stand further back. This needs to be slightly higher. <laughs> All right, my dudes. So you can see it's currently a mess in here. We've just finished our filming. We've went outside and done some extra filming. I feel disgusting. I'm gonna take my nose off and I'm gonna have a bath. <laughs> I realise I should probably close this video out. There are cats. That's great, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I feel disgusting. I look disgusting. But thank you for watching this. I really hope you enjoyed it because it's been really fun to do a character that I've kind of always wanted to do but never had an excuse to. And I made an excuse. So yeah, it's been fun. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then I'm sorry. Uh, if you want to see more of this kind of awful content then please subscribe and follow and tell me if you enjoyed this because I can happily make more chaotic cosplay content if you want it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, see you soon!